This season, we're honoring all different kinds of heroes. You're about to meet some extraordinary people who overcome challenges each and every day. And they live in a world that wasn't really built for their special needs. Well, this week, we're about to level the playing field. Have it, Lizzie! Oh, yeah! And the renovation starts right now. So guys, Ed, Paige, Johnny, and Eduardo, we are traveling through Shrewsbury, Missouri. Oh, yes. This is just outside St. Louis to meet the Martirez family. Now this is Emmanuel and Don and their three kids, Elle, Alec, and Evan. Now this is a very special family with some very special needs. Take a look at this tape and you'll see why we're here. Hi, ABC, we're, we're the, the Martirez family from St. Louis, Missouri. And this is Evan and Alec, they're our twins, and they are four. Hi, I'm Dawn, the mom. And I'm Emmanuel, the dad. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to our home. home. When Dawn graduated from school, she knew it was her destiny to help children. So she became a pediatric nurse and specialized in caring for kids with terminal cancer. I dreamed my whole life of being a nurse and taking care of sick children. It was just really inspiring to see how the kids facing such huge challenges got through it. It just makes you you know, rearrange how you think about life after you see something like that. My name's Kristen Nelson. I met Dawn when she was my brother's nurse when he was diagnosed with cancer. She was really such an angel in my life. You don't see nurses like Dawn every day. She was there in the final breaths to say goodbye. It was a tough job that required a lot of love and strength, but Dawn loved children. When she married Emmanuel, her high school sweetheart, they were eager to start a family of their own. First, they gave birth to a healthy baby girl named Elle. And three years later, they were thrilled to find out they were gonna have twin boys. But Emmanuel and Don's world soon turned upside down. The doctor called me and said that there was a chromosome disorder on one baby. There was abnormalities on the ninth chromosome. They didn't even really, weren't sure what to call it. Doctors told them that Evan, one of their twin boys, would be born with 9P minus, a genetic disorder that is extremely rare. The disorder causes skeletal abnormalities, and Evan would have to live with physical and mental challenges. He was in surgery less than 24 hours after he was born, and then in the NICU for eight weeks, and had had multiple surgeries by that point. The first year of his life, he spent more days in the hospital than at home. Their other twin boy, Alec, would be born with Crouzon syndrome, a cranial disorder that causes hearing loss and requires extensive facial and skeletal surgeries. He has some cranial facial surgeries, you know, some surgeries down the road for implanted hearing aids um, so he doesn't have to wear a headband around his head his whole life. Nice to meet you, Evan. I think we chose a very proper name for him. Evan means warrior, and right off the bat, Evan had to start fighting. And Alec means protector, and uh, yeah, that's what he's done. He looks out for his brother. <laughs> Every day, Don and Emmanuel try to help their kids overcome difficult challenges living inside a two-story house that's not built for their special needs. Evan is now learning to get around on his own with a walker, but narrow hallways and sharp corners basically confine him and keep him from being mobile. There's no place to turn around. No, no. We've done the very best we can to try to make this house a home for our family, but at the same time, it's really just a prison for Evan. There's no safe place for him inside. There's no good place for him outside. I feel like our job is to let him reach his full potential, whatever that is. He's not gonna be president or be a doctor, but you know, if he could work at a coffee shop and be able to walk into a job every day, that would be like a huge dream for me, for him. I just feel like we're putting a lot of limitations on him um, because of the way our house is. Thank you. Now the other sad part is, is that Don's father, Rich, lost his legs due to complications from spina bifida and diabetes. And Emmanuel's dad, Emmanuel Sr., had a series of strokes. So now both are confined to wheelchairs, which means if they come over to visit their grandkids, they can't even get inside the house. God needed somebody to take care of Evan and Alec, and uh, he gave them to us, and he couldn't have picked a better person than Dawn for that job. She does such a good job. She works so hard. 
and it kills me as a dad to know that maybe there's more I could do. Maybe my hardest isn't enough. That's why I'm asking you guys, please help me, help me take care of them. Wow. Awesome, That's right? Family. Totally. What's really crazy is the house they're living in is, is not letting these kids reach their full potential, but we can change that. Yeah. So what do you say? Can we do it? Yeah, yeah, it bring it in here, people. Are you with me? We're with you. Well, then let's do it! Woo! Don and Emmanuel are amazing parents with three wonderful kids. And it's not fair for a house to be something that's holding these kids or this family back. And we can't change their special needs, but what we can do is change their environment to give them a home that's going to allow them to see how far they can go in life because Don and Emmanuel believe that their kids really do have a bright future. So let me tell you what's gonna happen this week. We're gonna finally get you guys in a house that's gonna work for everybody in this family, including Evan, okay? And then while we're building you guys a house, you guys are going on vacation to Walt Disney World! <laughs> All right, so mom, dad, why don't you guys show me the house? Kids hang out with the design team. You guys look after these guys, see what we can use, okay? Yep. Okay, obviously the house just doesn't work for you guys, right? Right, I mean, as soon as you get to our front door, that's where his freedom and his mobility ends, right here. Right here, wow. All right. Yeah. Wow, and you walk straight into this? Yep, the steps are right there. You have no choice but to go straight up or, or try and squeeze in through it. Yeah, then... you can't get that way unless you... Look. Right off the bat, you realize this house does not work in any way from this family. From the upstairs to the downstairs to uh, the bathroom, it's just inaccessible for Evan. It's really tight to go from the hallway into the kitchen. You can see how Evan just bangs into things. And that's what's really sad about this house. They look at it as something that's confining their kids. Do you guys like animals? Yeah. Yeah? What's your favorite animal? Moo moo. Moo moo. A cow? <laughs> moo moo. And this is a cheetah. The twins don't know that they have special needs. I mean, they're just being boys. I mean, Alex going one way chasing a ball, and Evan, you know, have Walker, will travel. He is gone, man. So this week, I want to design a room that really caters to both of them, where they can have fun and they can learn and they can really reach their potentials. This is pretty cool. Thanks. What do you like to do with your brothers? With Evan, I usually play peekaboo and phallic. I usually play dress up with him or dolls. This week I'm taking care of Elle, and she's seven years old. You know, she's the big sis, helps take care of her two little brothers with special needs, and I want to make sure that I take care of her needs. I want to make sure that she has everything a little girl would want to play with dolls. This is you guys' master bedroom. Yep. This is it. <laughs> that says it all, all the medical equipment right on top of the dresser. Now, what is all this stuff? That's for a nebulizer machine. Both the boys actually do like asthma type medicines every day and... And but you guys also have a stethoscope. Well, so. I, th well yeah, because of Evan. When Evan was little, we used that a lot because there were a lot of trips to the emergency room for... That's, and then what's this right here? Evan wears a back brace for um, scoliosis. He was uh, born with a curve in his spine. Oh, so he's just got multi-challenges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this isn't so much as a... As a, as a bedroom as it has just a, um, I guess, a nap area for you guys. That's yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people would look at, you know, you guys coming as a dream come true, but I'll tell you what, it's more than that. You guys are a prayer answered, and I thank you so much for coming out. Dude, you're an awesome man. This week is about the way you look at people, and especially people that may have more challenges than you have. The way a parent looks at their child, and he doesn't see that they've got special needs as much as he sees their potential. What we need to do here is give this family the space where they can raise their kids and let them dream and let them see their kids grow up and live out to their full potential, which they know in their heart can happen if we build them the right house. We'll see you in a week. Be Bye, guys. Bye.
they're fantastic. Woo! Wow. Coming up. We're here to spread the word that the world needs to be more accessible. Oh, that is so awesome! Hello, Sam Malik! This week, I think we can do a lot more than just build a house. We can really make a point about what special needs are. We're gonna take on a second project this week. It's gonna be tough, but that's also why it's so cool. celebrating people with disabilities. They overcome obstacles in a world that is not necessarily built to help them. Don and Emmanuel's parents are in wheelchairs and they've never been able to go to any of the grandkids' homes because they can't even get through the door. Yet, all I saw today looking around that crowd were people with abilities and they're using those abilities to help us this week. <laughs> Design team, this is John Shea from Collier Thompson Shea Construction, and this, of course, is Dave from Consolidated Construction. These guys are teaming up to help us build a house for this family this week. You guys want to say anything to the troops? With building down and the economy not in great shape, all they ask is, what can I do? How many people you need? What can I provide? We want the kids to come home and really grow to their fullest potential here. Just two words to everybody here. Thank you. And Don and Emmanuel, have uh, given their lives for other people. You're here to give your lives for other people. We're gonna really do something that's gonna make a, a, a difference in their lives. I have to say, man, the family's on vacation. They don't know you guys are all here. What do you say, should we let them know? Yeah! I'll tell you what, you guys have been through so much, man. You've been there for so many people, and so many people are here for you. And they'd like to say hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi! Okay, so I'll tell you what, there's a few other people here that I think are family that want to say a few things. Rich, you want to say anything? Dawn, Emmanuel. <laughs> What's about to happen here is just uh, spectacular. This home that they are building for you by God, I will even be able to get in the front door. <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to get home. I can't wait to see you. Evan, run around in this house. So, have a great time. I Okay, so I'll tell you what, of course we're gonna need a builder to help us do this, and we've got two guys who've teamed up, they're absolutely awesome. Anything you guys wanna to say to the family? Ty, I'd like to introduce you to uh, Sam Malik. Sam is a man who's faced a lot of challenges himself, and he has a great little coffee house he wants to tell you about. The coffee shop guy. We started a business 17 months ago, Ty. It's a small coffee shop, and the focus is to employ disabled people and give them a chance and a purpose in life. I was born with cerebral palsy. I was told I'd never walk, never get married, never had kids. This is my family and my wife. We're here to help your family work on your house and make your life and your children's life a little simpler, a little easier, because I've walked in your shoes when people said, this can't be done, this won't be done, because I'm telling you, it can be done. The word I can't isn't in my vocabulary. That is awesome.
When I saw that guy hop into that excavator and start going to town in our house, I said, that guy understands what he's tearing down. He understands that he is tearing down my family's limitations and clearing the way for an amazing and bright future for my family. Oh! Oh! It's all down! <laughs> <laughs> well, my T-Rex family, there you have it, man. That house that was holding you guys back, finally down on the ground. Matt, nice job, buddy. And this week, it's going to be awesome because it's going to be people with all kinds of different abilities really proving that you can reach your full potential, helping us build you guys a house where your whole family, including Evan, can finally reach their full potential. So guys, have a great time on vacation, and we'll see you when you get back. Bye, guys. Martira's house is coming along quite well. We've got a roof on top, we're pumping in the insulation. It's gonna be all even, one grade in the front yard, easy to go in and check this out. A big open doorway, easy for the whole family to get through. All right, well, I'm working on Elle's room this week, and Elle is seven years old and she's all about dolls. She loves to dress them up and do their hair, so I'm gonna give her an entire doll town. And this, what we're working on right here, is the doll house. It's a life-size doll house just for her. Can you guys help me lift this up? So just imagine you walk into her room and this is what she's going to see. This is a window here, a door here. She can climb in, she can look out the window. I mean, just imagine a life-size doll house for a seven-year-old. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's Sam, right? Yeah, Ty. You own a coffee shop, right? And you, you kind of like run a business and hire a few people that, uh, I guess, have got some challenges? And it's called More Than Coffee. More Than Coffee. And uh, we employ disabled people, but the other part of the mission is to start them off as a training ground and put them in a normal workplace, raising the bar, giving them self-dignity, self-worth, and also giving parents like Don and Emmanuel hope. And you do all this out of this little coffee shop? Ah, uh, sir, all this out of 261 square feet. Obviously, it's a small shop. So, I mean, I can't hire too many people. But this is what God called me to do. I'm trying to change the world, as I say, one cup at a time and one person at a time. Because there's always somebody out there in need. Well, I tell you what, Sam, honor to meet you, my friend. It's my and, pleasure. Uh, I, I get the feeling I'm going to see you again, my friend. I hope okay. so. This week I'm working on Alec and Evan's magical petting zoo room. So I flew into Ohio to go to the Columbus Zoo to get some really cool ideas, awesome animal sounds, and to talk to the legendary Jack Hammond. Hey, Jack. How you doing? How you doing, Johnny? Nice to see you, Johnny. What's going on? Oh, who's this, this guy? There's a palm sitting up. Look at those choppers. Yeah, you can take your head off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm helping out the, uh, the Martirez family. Right. We're building them right. a house. Right. And they have Alec and Evan, the twins and they love animals. Right. And I was wondering if I could record some of your animals. Oh, no problem. He's going to record you screaming yeah. here in about yeah. three seconds. Oh, yeah? <laughs> is he Jack Hanna is probably the foremost expert on animals that we have. And he has dedicated his life to conservation and awareness and education. And what a treat. Jack Hanna brought out some of the coolest animals that I didn't even know existed. OK. <laughs> they call leaping lemurs. You can see why. Wow. Whoa! Have you ever been this close to a cheetah? No. That wasn't a good one. No, that wasn't good. Wow! Nothing? <laughs> Can you do it making the penguin talk? <laughs> I'm not I'm good. I'm serious. You go and look at all my shows, you'll never see him do that. That's amazing. I'm honored. Donna's dedicated her life to taking care of kids, and our friends over at CVS Pharmacy are also dedicated to helping those who help others. Thanks to them, we've given the Martirez family this elevator, making it easy to move around the house. Hey, Ed. Yo. I'm talking for a second. Uh, by the way, it's starting to come down outside, but uh, OK, so remember on demo, met this guy, Sam? 
he runs this coffee shop and he hires people with uh, disabilities and, and really gives them a chance. Well, I'm thinking if we're building a house with these guys, I think we can do something for Sam that will make a huge difference in the community as well. Okay. Mike. So I got a project for you. Come with me. <laughs> Sounds good. I think it's important that this week we not only build a house for the family, but you know we should help Sam out. So Ed and I actually took kind of a tour of the coffee shop and realized he needs a lot. He needs more space, he needs more accessibility, so that somebody in a wheelchair could actually maybe hand out a cup of coffee. It's so, easiest to get in here, Sam, yeah. is it? I have to no, say, man, nothing I mean, this in, is very sir, narrow right if here. If you're disabled, nothing in here is easy, but you deal with what you deal with. I cannot hire anybody with a wheelchair because I just can't get them in here. Yeah, I can see that. That's definitely um, not wheelchair accessible. And that is, that is the other part of our mission that we do, was to get people to interact with disabled people so they know we're not ogres, we don't have leprosy. This whole project, it has nothing to do with coffee. It's about being an inspiration and motivating people to action. Can, can I ask, what is your story? I mean, how did you get to be the person you are today? I was born in Cairo, Egypt. I was born with cerebral palsy. I was born two months premature. I was literally thrown in the trash can. Wow. You were thrown into a trash can as a, as a premature baby. When I hit the trash can, I started crying, and here I am. What you're seeing is 29 operations and sheer determination of I'm not giving up. What drives me is helping somebody else all the time. Sam Malik is, without a doubt, a truly amazing individual. The only problem that this man has, the old coffee shop really wasn't ADA accessible, and that was one of the things that was frustrating him. So this week, friends, my main mission is to build Sam Malik's new coffee shop. <laughs> is an inspiration to Little Evan and other people in Evan's situation that with the right environment and the right people behind you, you can do it. Sam, as you can see, you've made a huge difference in so many people's lives. What you do every day, you hire people in this coffee shop that all have challenges, but you've proven that they can live up to their potential. These guys have all come together and want to do something for you. We're gonna tear this thing down and build you a brand new coffee shop from the ground up, my friend. Thanks to these people, and thanks to you. If it wasn't for that, I couldn't stay here and do this. And these guys are also here for you. This is David Dunlap. He's with Consolidated Construction. He's going to be in charge of this thing, making sure we build you guys a hut. It was a very honoring and humbling experience to know that these people would be soaking wet in the rain to pay it forward to a very simple person. But I guess in their heart and soul, they knew I needed the help. Hello, Mark Torres family. I hope you're having a fantastic time on vacation. I have to say, this week, we're trying to do something extra special. Not only build a house for you guys, but also help out somebody else who's really done incredible things in the community. And this guy is named Sam Malik. Yeah. We're actually gonna build him a brand new coffee shop. Maybe one that Evan can actually work in one day. <laughs> hey, what do you think of that? Now, of course, we got so many people here to volunteer, and Don, you've touched so many people, man. You were a nurse. You helped out so many families go through some really tough times. Well, they've got some things to say, and I think you're going to know these guys. Don, you know that um, you had a huge impact on my life. You were there from the second I was diagnosed with cancer through all three years. All I remember is smiling with you, and I don't remember any of the bad times. I know my brother and some of the other kids that didn't make it are up in heaven, and that's why we have the rain today because they're raining down just blessings on Dawn. And I'm so thankful for you and just so thankful for this opportunity that the kids are gonna get to be able to live life as they should. All those years I spent with those families and those kids, I was getting so much out of it at the time that for them to thank me would never even occur to me. I mean, they're family. They've all been there like family and helping us and doing whatever they could. I love the whole paying it forward. I'm so proud to live in a world and a community that that's possible. So guys, have a great time on vacation and know that I'm gonna bring you back a little early so you can see this thing unveiled before you see your house. What do you say, people? We're gonna move this guy out and do some demo? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
looking good, guys. I'm in the Martiros family's new kitchen, and the appliances are going in, including this brand new refrigerator from Kenmore. Not only does it make crushed ice and cubed ice, it also makes shaved ice. And what's shaved ice good for? Snow cones, of course. Who wants a snow cone? Everyone. The house has really come along. In the old house, the kids really had no place where they could play together. I mean, Alec, Evan, Elle, they couldn't really not only play safely, but there was no room for them to actually kind of play. It was a, literally, it was a hazardous zone. Well, we've designed a playroom in the basement of the house designed just for kids with special needs. So now, not only can Aaron and everybody play, but they can actually play together. And I can't wait to see them try this baby out. It's gonna be awesome! How are you taking it? How are you making it? I'm good, I, man. How you doing? I got I to gotta introduce you to somebody here. All right. Really important. Emmanuel, this is Johnny. How are you? Johnny's one of the designers. Oh, okay. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. What do you What do you think of all of this? This is magical. It's awesome. It's awesome. You know, the great thing also, though, is it's accessible to you, to you guys as well. Oh, man, I can't yeah. wait. <laughs> we can't wait. <laughs> so, family reunion at uh, the Martirs? Well, let's hope so. <laughs> the world does not cater to people with special needs. It's not that they have disabilities, they just have different abilities. And it's just awesome because that's why we're here this week. We're here to spread the word that the world needs to be more accessible. And we're doing it one house at a time. How you doing today? Coffee a go? One coffee a go! I don't know if you're aware, but the old coffee shop that Sam used to have, the service windows used to be really high, which really frustrated him because he couldn't employ people with different abilities. Well, now we've lowered them, he can. Enjoy your cup of coffee. Come back again, all right? Take care. Have a good day. I think we can handle the first you move in. We'll take it from here, but why don't you gather the designers? Why don't we head over and show Sam the coffee house? Sure. All right? Yeah. You I'm in charge. Make it happen. Yeah. Let's show Sam the coffee Come house. Come with me. Coffee shop. Make it happen, guys. Make it happen. We thought it would be important to bring the family home a day early to be there for Sam Malik and his family while we showed him his new coffee shop. Sam is such an inspiration. You know, he's living proof that you can do anything you put your mind to. And I think especially for Don and Emmanuel, seeing Sam there, I think it just symbolized for them the future that their kids can have. This is going to be a big surprise for you guys, but you don't officially get your big surprise till tomorrow. <laughs> so are you ready to help us move this truck? Sure. You bet. OK, take a little stand over there. Let's get the kids nice and safe. moves. It was like, this is the most beautiful thing I ever see. The very first time someone asked me for a job in a wheelchair, I said, come on in. He couldn't get past my freezer. I've laid awake thinking, how can I make this shop better? It was beyond my wildest dreams of what I saw. This has all been made possible by CVS Pharmacy. These guys are committed and they are focused to help people who give back to others, and you fit that bill right down to the last word, my friend. Are you ready to uh, have a look at the inside? Let's do it. Come on, big man, let's have a look. <laughs> Take a look around your new coffee shop, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. This is incredible. The very first thought I had was, I can get two wheelchairs in here. Wow. 
I saw the colors and my crutches. I didn't have to do, you know, squeeze in and take baby steps to shuffle through. Everybody in St. Louis paid it forward. Simple things change the world. Be the difference you want to be or the difference you want to see in the world today. Every time I think of you and what you've done and what you've accomplished, that will give me the strength to know that everything is within my family's reach. There is nothing impossible for my family. My heart is yours. <laughs> it is an honor to be a part of your family and you will forever be a part of mine. There are a few times in life where you experience a moment and you know, you know what, this is something very significant happening right here and right now and pay attention. But to see everything that Sam has accomplished, we're so humbled to be a part of his story. We wouldn't have missed it for the world. I think there's only one thing left to do, Sam. Who wants some coffee? <laughs> the faces I knew they believe in my family just as much as I do and I was so proud that feeling is gonna be with my kids for the rest of their lives and it's totally gonna impact their worldview that you know what dreams come true if you believe it it can happen I know you guys have been through so much. Well, this week has really been about giving people a chance to show off their potential. And I think what you guys had this was kind of holding Evan back from his potential. Right. I tell you what, I cannot <laughs> wait to show you what's behind this bus. Are you guys ready to see what's behind this bus? Yeah. Move that bus! Move that bus! Move that bus! Are you guys know what to say? Say it with me, bus driver! Saw the house, I think the first feeling I realized was this weight being lifted off. The old house represented just holding Evan back, and keeping him from life in a lot of ways, and then the new house just represents endless possibilities. So many of our problems have now been solved. This is the beginning of a really good chapter of our lives. Well, if you guys love the house, you got to give some love to Dave uh, with Consolidated Building. John Che is with Collier Thompson and Shea Building. You guys did a fantastic job. We were tickled for what we were able to do for the Martirez family. Every person who worked on this house, the volunteers, the tradespeople, I think are gonna all grow from this. You help one person who helps another person who helps another person. It's a good feeling. I think it's gonna pay forward for a long time. So here's how much it's changed. We've got a sloping graduate sidewalk leading right to the house. And check out the little bumpers we made along the way. Let's go, Evan! Martirez family, go check out your burning house. Where you want to go, buddy? The house is yours. The house is yours. We walked into the house, and we saw that we didn't have to worry about Evan or where he went. That was a freedom that we had not felt in ever. Our old house represented no. From the minute you hit that front step where we had to carry Evan to the minute you open the door and you're hit flat in the face with that steep staircase, and this house is a great big yes. Yes, you can have the future you want, and yes, it's gonna be awesome.
So, Martinez family, oh. what do you think of the house? Oh, amazing! It's awesome, right? It's amazing! Well, the first thing you notice when you walk in is how wide the hallways are. Yes. Which is great, especially for this guy in his walker now. Yes, he does. So, guys, check this out. Sears has given you guys brand new appliances, and they've also given you a home maintenance fund. So, you guys don't have to worry about anything for a while. That means the world. I will be able to be more present for the family without all the worry. Yeah. And uh, that's really something. Wow, that's awesome. I want to show you something else that I think you're really going to like. Just... Guys, we put an elevator in your house. Whoa. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Enjoy the elevator Whoa. ride. Come on, guys. We'll see you downstairs. See you downstairs. Honey, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you guys think of the new playroom? This is outstanding! The playroom is amazing. I mean, for Evan's needs and for him to be able to explore and play, and that impact is huge. There's so much we don't even know that he's capable of, and that this house is what is going to allow us to see what that is. It just it changes his whole entire life. Let's check out some more house! Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go! Gosh, Elle, come here. Where are you? I'm up here. I'm on my bed. When I first opened the door in my room, I thought it was really cool. Now I have a big dollhouse that I can fit in. In our old house, Evan spent a lot of time looking out that front window in the front yard. You could tell that he just wanted to get out there, but it was so dangerous for him just being around out there. That room is a place for them to spend time together, and we don't have to worry about Evan getting hurt. <laughs> I love my animal bill. A town day moo! Evan, do you love it? <laughs> well, my special project this week has been you guys' bedroom because I want you guys to have a place that's all your own, okay? Guys, go check out your new bedroom. Protector and warrior picture. Oh my gosh, look at that picture. When I walked into that room, I could see in my wife's face that this was everything she could ever have hoped for and more. I knew right then and there she's gonna be so happy in this house and she's gonna be able to be 100% for the kids. I know how important it is for you guys to keep an eye on your kids, so check this out. So you can actually switch this to a monitoring system, which actually lets you keep an eye and your kids. Wow. And so that's Johnny playing with the kids in the oh room right now. Oh, he's getting uh, hit by Alex. <laughs> Alex beating Johnny. <laughs> what is truly amazing is before this family was living in a house that was absolutely really unusable to so many members of this family. The change that's happened is miraculous. And knowing that these kids now can play together in an environment that is finally safe for them, an environment where they can actually grow, it really is going to give them the opportunity to fully reach their potential. You guys really are kind of heroes, and we just wanted to give you a special place for your entire family. And I know you guys have got some family members that also have special needs. Well, we want to give them a place where even they could have access to your home, maybe for the first time. Bring them in it. Being able to uh, go to Dawn and Emmanuel and 
and touch them and welcome them home. It was fabulous. You're giving this family just a tremendous head start. My grandsons will not let their disabilities stop them. Thank you from the depths of my heart to allow me to spend some more time with my grandchildren. We have eight children. I can't get in anybody's house. This is the first time I've gotten into one of my children's homes. Thank you. Well, I guess there's just one thing left to say. Welcome home, Martirez family. Welcome home. Who wants to see some more house? Come on. We've got an elevator. Let's take a ride. I hope that when people see a kid with special needs, they don't feel sorry for that kid. They see that kid as an incredible opportunity to marvel at what's truly possible. To hold that kid up and say, you know what? You can do it, and I'm gonna help you get there. All it takes is just a little bit of time and a little bit of effort, and you could do this for everybody, all sorts of kids. You know, just take a look around and see the potential, not the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think he likes it. <laughs> We're open for business! Who wants a copy? There you go, I haven't made it. The first rule of business, don't eat the food. You gotta buy it. There you go. Thank you, that's all I can say. I guarantee you, St. Louis, I won't let you down.